Hello, today I'm going to talk about the unique device identification. The new MDR and IVDR introduce UDI as a new identification for medical devices. This UDI system will facilitate traceability of medical devices, enhance effectiveness of post-market safety-related activities, allow better monitoring by competent authorities, reduce medical errors and fight against falsified devices, improve purchasing and waste disposal policies and stock management by health institutions and economic operators, and provide a single and globally harmonized positive identification of medical devices. The system will be applied to all medical devices except custom made and performance study investigational devices. And manufacturers are responsible for entering the necessary data on UDAMED, a new database required by MDR and IVDR, where you should register your company and products, which includes the UDI database and for keeping it up to date. Each medical device and as applicable its package will have a UDI, which is a series of numeric or alphanumeric characters, and it is composed of two parts. The device identifier that identifies a specific device on your portfolio. This is the static part of the UDI number and it doesn't change within the same exact product. And the product identifier that identifies the unit producing the device and if applicable, the package devices. This is the dynamic part of the UDI and it tells you about the lot number, serial number, manufacturing date etc. The basic UDI idea is the highest level of identification of the product hierarchy within the UDAMED. It's intended to identify and connect devices with the same intended purpose, uh, risk class, essential design, and manufacturing characteristics. Uh, the basic UDI idea is an identification number that is not for a specific but for a group of products. Under this basic UDI, you will have one or many UDI IDIs. It has no supply chain value. It's invisible for your customers and it's only used for the administrative purpose. The basic UDI IDI is referenced in relevant documentation like certificates, including certificate of free sale, EU declaration of conformity, technical documentation, and summary of safety and clinical performance. The UDI in general is provided by an official designated entity by the Commission. Be as clear and efficient as possible, it's required that the basic UDI DI format should be as close as possible to the UDI that we'll see later. Having a maximum of 25 characters, as this is the maximum length of the UDI DI. And the organization that will provide you the UDI code should also implement a check digit character, and they should provide an algorithm to the commission and the manufacturer to verify the code. If you make some changes to your products, the UDI DI that you receive for it can be subject to a change. A new UDI IDI will be required if you change things like the name, the device version, or the language, for example. The UDI career is the format you can see the UDI, and there are two parts also for it. The automatic identification and data capture, that is a technology used to automatically capture data. These technologies include barcodes, smart cards, the biometrics, and radio frequency identification. And the human readable interpretation, that is a legible interpretation of the data characters encoded in the UDI career. It's important in case there is no automatic system to read the code. The UDI DI is the number after the 01. Each time when you see the 01 between brackets, this means uh, this is the placeholder for the UDI DI. 
the UDIPI part as mentioned uh, is uh, it can it's a part that can vary as it depends on the production characteristics of the product. You can identify some numbers in the brackets on the UDIPI part. Each of these numbers is, is providing a specific information about the product. Then is for the lot number. 11 for the production date, 17 defines the expiration date, and 21 is the serial number. All this information are dynamic as they change each time you have a new batch or a new expiry date. The UDI career shall be on the label or on the device itself and on all higher levels of device packaging. Normally, the code should be visible for the person that is using the Product. In the event of significant space constraints on the unit of use packaging, the UDI career may be placed on the next higher packaging level. Higher levels of packaging shall have their own unique UDI, and shipping containers shall be exempted, uh, except, exempted from the requirement. To register for the UDI, normally you need to contact an entity that is authorized to provide you with UDI DI code. This is the code that is specific to your company and specific to your products. You can need many codes depending on your portfolio. The European Commission has designated the shown entities to provide this UDI number. The manufacturer is responsible for complying with all UDI related requirements. This includes the assignment of the UDI, the UDI registration in the UDAMA database, and the placement of the UDI career on the label of the device or in case of reusable devices on the device itself. That's uh, direct marking. Distributors and importers shall verify where applicable that the UDI has been assigned by the manufacturer. All economic operators and health institutions shall store and keep preferably by electronic means the UDI of the devices which they, ha they have supplied or with which they have been supplied if those devices belong to class 3 implantable devices. The UDI shall be seen at uh, the system level of the software. Only software that is commercially available on its own and software that constitutes a device in itself shall be subject to that requirement. The software identification shall be considered the manufacturing control mechanism and shall be displayed in the UDI PI. A software UDI uh, should have the two parts, the UDI DI and UDI PI. The manufacturing parameters should be displayed on the UDI PI and the general information about the software on the UDI DI. In case of minor changes like sandbag correction, etc., manufacturers should change the UDI PI. And in case of major changes like the original performance, the safety of the intended use of the software and interpretation of data, you should ask for a new UDI DI. On software, there are multiple places where the UDI number can be placed, depending if the software is in a physical medium and it, if it has or not user interface. If you have combination products, then you need to understand if UDI is applicable to your product. If your product is a medical device but it incorporates a medicinal product, you have to comply with the UDI requirements. Here there are some examples from the Medical Device Coordination Group. But if your product is regulated by the Medicinal Directive, the medic medical device part of it can use or not UDI. This means it's not mandatory. And some examples are from the Medical Device Coordination Group are also shown. To summarize, basic UDI DI is an administrative code used for the company that manufactures the product to be identified by the authorities and also to group devices that are part of the same category. 
you can get it from the same companies that provide the UDIDI. The UDI is composed of the UDIDI, which is a fixed part that you get by registering by an official entity, and the UDIPI, which is the dynamic part related to the product itself. The UDI on the product should be available through the UDI career, which is the way we see the UDI. It has two parts, the automatic identification and data capture used for any automatic device that can scan code, and the human readable interpretation that should be understandable by humans. Both formats should be visible. For combination products, if your product is regulated uh, as a medical device, you need to apply the UDI, but in case your product is regulated as a medicinal product, that incorporates a medical device, then it's not mandatory to apply the UDI. The UDI requirement depends on the risk of your product, so more there is a risk, sooner you should implement it. Implementation dates following the class are for class three and implantable devices, 26th of May of 2021. For class 2A and 2B, 26th of May of 2023. And for class one, 26th of May of 2025. For reusable devices like surgical instruments, the UDI career should be on the product. And as there are some products that will be already on the market, the European Commission is delaying its implementation to two years later, depending on their class. If the reusable product is class 3, then the implementation of UDI is delayed to 26th of May of 2023. If it's class 2A and class 2B until 26th of May of 2025, and its classification is class 1, then this can be implemented until 26th of May 2027. For IBDs, uh, for class D, uh, it's uh, 26th of May of 2023. For class C and B, 26th of May of 2025, and for class A, 26th of May of 2027. That's all. Thank you, and see you in another video.